This shallow stream is the best route to hopefully finding a larger body of water and eventually the coast. Following out one of these ravines is the best way to travel in this kind of terrain in the sense that you're not walking through brush, but you are walking on slippery rocks. So it's like tit for tat, you know, six in one, half dozen the other. Yeah, it's getting real narrow. This canyon's getting tighter, so basically it's funneling all the water into one spot. And the boulders are creating these little mini dams. So we're basically finding ourselves wading through pools. Does that remind you of anything? Looks like home sweet home. Slot canyons. Yeah, it's getting real narrow. All right, let's keep going. At home where I live in Utah, there's tons of slot canyons and you're surrounded by rock. The main difference here is that you're surrounded by slippery greenery, but the walls are still just as steep. We're in a fairly dangerous situation. If it does rain really hard, it could flood in this zone. As Matt and I are making our way down this slot canyon, I'm starting to hear water. It almost sounds like a river. You can see up ahead that it opens up completely, but we're looking at the tops of trees out there. Oh, man. Looks like the end of the road right there. F me. This sucks. There's not a river, but about an 80-foot waterfall. I don't think we're going down that. No. I'm not, not jumping that either. No. Hell no. All right. We don't have a choice, dude. Let's back out. Mother Nature's not playing nice right now, so what we're going to do is switch to another plan, and that is we're heading back out of this slot canyon. We're going to try to climb out on the other side of this and get back up and work our way around. And if this doesn't work, I, I really don't know what we're going to do. Might be our best bet up right there, up the roots. Let's go check them out and see what we got. It's time just to take a deep breath. Call myself, focus. Well, There's not much feet in the start. This spot's a little tricky right there. Yeah, be careful you don't get your foot wedged. You just gotta look up straight at the top of those roots. You know it's your salvation. Looks all good, Joe. Climbing, Matt. I'm not quite as tall as Matt is. And in a situation like this, the longer your arms are and the longer your legs are, that's going to benefit you. So I'm a little bit in a deficit right now. Oh. All right. Nice work. That was pretty solid. Yeah, man. It's flattened out up here. Maybe we can get around that fall. Sounds good. Joe and I are at the top of the vines, which is great because it's nice and flat up here. Looks like we can make our way around to the other side of this waterfall where I saw a possibility of getting down. Joe, I think we can get down right here. It's still pretty steep, but there's some trees on the ridge line. So where are you thinking? It's completely vertical, but this nose, I think we can stay on it. There's enough trees and stuff to hold on to. Yeah, at least if we start falling, you're gonna hit a tree, it might stop. Yeah, let's give it a go. Normally in a climbing situation, you can rely somewhat on friction to aid in your descent. But when the rain comes down, everything gets really slick. You gotta make sure that you're completely balanced all the time. You always have three points of contact. It had a rain climbing down here of all times, right? Yeah, a bit slick. You do not want to fall here. This is gonna be a catastrophic injury, and let me define that. You'll be dead. We are at the bottom of the waterfall, and looking up, I'm taking it all in. It feels really good. 